Uncertainty is the fuel that feeds the flame of fear. This is true in a lot of different contexts, but is especially true in the setting of medicine. We are afraid of the things that we don't understand, and as physicians and medical professionals, we do not like being faced with situations where we fundamentally don't know the right answer. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to medicine, this is very ironic because uncertainty is something that is pretty much present always. Let's take an example of something that seems very, very straightforward. Let's say we have a patient who comes in with abdominal pain that is very characteristic of appendicitis. Now, normally, as we're learning about things like appendicitis, these are kind of slam dunk diagnoses where if you have pain in this right lower quadrant that is a specific, uh, has a specific nature, has these specific clinical findings in a specific age group that um, really doesn't have any other reason for having that type of pain we can say clinically, oh, we have a clinical diagnosis of appendicitis. However, we don't know because some will say, oh, we haven't gotten imaging. So let's say this patient who we think has appendicitis, let's say he gets a, a CT scan. And then on the CT scan, I'm not going to be able to draw that out very nicely, but the whole point is, let's say on the CT scan, we see the same thing, where we, we can visualize the appendix and we see that it's enlarged. Uh, it, it, looks like very cons it looks to be very consistent with appendicitis. And some will say, okay, well, now we know for sure. But realistically, when you're doing something like a CT scan, you can notice patterns you can say, oh, this appendix looks consistent with what we would expect to see for someone who has appendicitis, but still, you don't really know for sure. Your degree of uncertainty is now less, and that's a really important point, because now you're, you are much more confident that this individual does have appendicitis, and maybe this individual, based upon this the clinical presentation and our imaging here with our CT scan, this patient goes to the OR. And let's say we remove the appendix because you let's you open it up, uh, you take a look, you see that the appendix looks angry, it looks inflamed, and we take it out. And some people will say, okay, well, now you've actually opened up the patient, you've looked at the appendix. But really, even at this point, there is still a degree of uncertainty because perhaps the appendix was a little inflamed. Maybe it was a little large. But do we know for sure that that was the cause of their appendicitis? Um, I, sorry, was that the cause of their abdominal pain? So let's say we take out the appendix and the patient, obviously, after they they are done with the surgery, they're going to go to post-op, and they're going to be on painkillers. So, you know, more or less, their pain, they will have some pain from the surgery. But let's say the patient is happy and is convinced that his abdominal pain is resolved now. The surgeons are convinced as well, too. We took out the appendix here. This is going to go off to get histological analysis. And that just obviously means that um, that we're going to look at it under a microscope. And let's say we get the results back and the histologist, the pathologist rather, doesn't really comment one way or another. They say, oh, you know, the appendix maybe had some wall thickening. Maybe there were some more immune cells than in the average appendix. But even then... We, we don't have full confirmation that this truly was due to the appendicitis. Now, the patient has gone through the whole course of treatment and workup, and perhaps after they leave the hospital, they remain happy. They don't have the abdominal pain anymore, and 
how it will be recorded is that this patient had appendicitis, we took out the appendix, we solved the problem, but in reality there is still a degree of uncertainty because we never truly, in this instance, because the histology, let's say, isn't very, very convincing one way or another, we always have to maintain the understanding that there's this degree of uncertainty. And a lot of individuals in the field don't like this, and that makes a lot of sense for the reasons we talked about before. But I think moving forward in your training, it's important to realize how there will always be a degree of uncertainty, even with things that are very straightforward. Appendicitis, that's not rocket science. Um, but it does still kind of carry that degree of uncertainty, especially when you get imaging that is consistent with appendicitis, but again, you don't know for sure. And then if you get tissue analysis that really doesn't give you that closure, at the end of the day, you have to appreciate that, you know what, maybe this wasn't appendicitis, but given all the things that we saw, it seems very likely that it was. And that's really how you have to leave it. Uh, it's not easy to explain that to patients. It's not ex easy to explain that to trainees even or to colleagues in certain circumstances. But you have to appreciate that no matter what, there will be a degree of uncertainty. And you as a physician or a medical professional just have to come to terms with that.